Hi, I'm Howard from the Beeline Training Center. Today we're going to demonstrate the 4 old tool tool group used for the fabricated axle for camber correction. What we have laid out here in front of us right now are all the parts and pieces for the 4 old tool tool group. We have a new extended beam, two clevises, four pins, two jack bases, two ram tops, two 60 ton rams, a PSI pressure gauge, and two Kevlar straps. What you're looking at here is a typical front fabricated axle used under an increasing number of trucks. The tool group 402 is used to correct the camber on such axles. The differences between a fabricated axle and a cast axle is a cast axle is solid and a fabricated has a hollow center tube. Because of this hollow tube, more care is taken in doing a camber correction. This was the purpose of us designing the new tool group. Because of this fabricated axle and the tool group that we designed, it is only permissible to perform camber corrections and not caster corrections. And I'd like to start now by showing you how to do a camber correction. As with performing any alignment, the first thing you want to do is an inspection of all parts and the axle itself. That goes as well as checking the Kevlar straps to ensure they're still in good shape also. To inspect the straps that were specifically designed for this tool group, you do a visual inspection of the green casing. If the casing is ripped or torn, you can send it back to Beeline and have a new casing put on. The second item that you want to pay particular attention to is the fiber optic cable which runs through the Kevlar strap. Take the two black cables, shine a light through one end of it, and looking at the other end of it, you should see the light transfer through. If the light does not transfer through, you need to throw the strap away and purchase a new one. They cannot be rebuilt. This is an important feature that needs to be checked every time before you do a correction. The first setup we're going to demonstrate today is an equal increase. The first thing that you want to do is, is take the straps and put them up and over the axle. Now that you have the straps in place, the next thing is, is to push your beam and clevises into place. Once these are into place, you will hook the straps to it and put your pins in the bottom end of it. To attach the clevises to the straps, simply pull the strap around the edge of the clevis and do the same to the front. Once you have the clevises in place, slide your two pins into the bottom of the clevis, making sure that you have coverage on both sides. We then place the base on the beam for the jack that holds it in place so it doesn't allow it to slide or push off. We then install the ram on top of the jack base. And then last and more importantly, we put the spacer block that's made to go between the ram and the axle to apply force equally. As you can see with the setup in place now, the straps that are especially made are conforming over the axle itself to equally distribute the load that's being applied. We also have a spacer block that we place on top of the ram so that we're applying pressure in a wider range across the bottom of the axle instead of at one point. We are now ready to apply pressure. We are starting to apply pressure now. One of the things that you'll notice is on a cast axle we use 100 and 130 ton rams. With this particular setup and tool group you are getting 60 ton rams because of the fact that it takes less pressure to apply to fix it. Once we have the pressure under, we need to make sure that we constantly watch that pressure gauge. As with all camber corrections, it is duly important to watch the wind speed screen to monitor your numbers of the axle correction, but it is equally as important to watch the PSI gauge during a correction and not to exceed 8,000 PSI when doing an equal camber increase. Now we're set up to do an equal decrease. Whereas using a heavy duty tool group 406, you have rigid clevises going over. With this, you have straps. So you want to make sure that you maintain levelness on the beam and also to keep it from wanting to twist or kick out. With an equal decrease, the pre max pressure is 6,500 PSI. We have successfully completed this demonstration. We've corrected the axle. We want to make one important note. When applying an equal increase, you do not want to go over max pressure of 8,000 PSI. When you're doing an equal decrease, you do not want to go over 6,500 PSI. Visually check the straps 
and also check the fiber optic cord in the straps every time prior to being used for an alignment correction. If you'd like more information on the 402 Fabricated Axle Tool Group, please feel free to contact Beeline or your local sales rep. Thank you.